Shalom, shalom. First off, I'd like, like to say, call halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachwa, Wadash, the water, Yahweh, for giving us, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who have the 100% spirit of Yahweh Bahashim, Shai in them. Double honors to the Connecticut elders of GMS, our big brothers. Greetings and salutations to the brothers in this country and all over the world who are prophesying in the true name of Yahweh Bashim Shai, which is none other than the power of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and anybody who are descendants from those people on their father's side. Shalom to those who are scattered abroad. Shalom to the Akim and Akwath. I'm Yaiqua, serving the king of the universe. Okay, uh, before I even get to the title, um, I'll just like to say, you know, real quick, um, I saw, uh, you know, I heard the news yesterday about uh, the beloved brother, Rawam, out of the Boston camp, who is now with Yahweh Bashim Shai. And, um, you know, just wanted to touch on that real quick before I do the show. Um, so I got two scriptures I want to share and, um, and, uh, and, uh, and get right into it. You know, like I said, I didn't want to make a, you know, big headline and make it a separate show. I figured I'd just mention it now, and um, because you know I, I we, we just heard the news yesterday from Apostle Gabar's show, and he he went into it ex extensively through the Spirit. But I just want to add two scriptures with that, you know, edification and hope, and you know, uh, glory. Oh yeah, Bishai and Shai. All right. So real uh, real quick, and shalom to the brothers in the Boston camp, and um, you know, keep your head up and stay strong. You know. But let me read. This is our Philippians chapter one, verse twenty-one. It reads, "For for me, actually, I'm gonna start from um, uh, I'll start from twenty. It says, matter of fact, I'll start from nineteen. Uh, Philippians one and nineteen. It says, "For I know that this shall turn to my salvation." Through your prayer and and the supply of the spirit of Yahweh Shai, according to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed. It's a lot and a burp, you know that burp demon. Uh, the lighting's off. It's a lot of beam of light. Uh, it's a lot of cocking. I can't get that beam of light out of there. It reads. According to my earnest expectation, my hope that in nothing I should be ashamed. And that's what it is. When we hope, that's what we say. We hope for elect. We hope we're in the men of the Lord. We hope the reincarnated prophets coming back. Right? We have a good chance to be starting with the uh, apostles of GMS because we do the work. Faith of what it works is dead. Right? Um, but in the hope, uh, in this hope, we're not ashamed in the belief that of Yahweh by Shemai Shai. You know, that's why, you know, even though you call us crazy, we're out there in the, you know, bums, we're out there in the street corner, we're in skirts, whatever have you, you know, the scoffers, but we're not ashamed. And if you look at Corinthians, the second chapter, uh, the wisdom of this world is foolishness according to the Most High. And the Lord said, I will save them by the uh, the foolishness, foolishness of preaching, uh, not saying a barbatim, to say that was the whole point of the Lord, to make us go out there and to look like so-called crazy people or psychopaths, because of course this truth is going to be uh, 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 deemed crazy to the in this world to the ones uh, 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 who are lied to, you know, because they don't know the truth. It's totally something they never heard. So anyway, so we're not ashamed. It says, it says, but that with all boldness as always, so now also the anointed uh, shall ma be magnified in my body, whether it be life or by death. Let me read that again. It says. And that in nothing I should be ashamed. See the men of the Lord were not ashamed out there, right? But that with but that with all boldness, right? Because it says in uh, what Saint John, First John four nineteen eighteen seventeen, uh, here to here is in our love made perfect. Meaning, you don't love the Lord without repenting and come back to the laws because loving the Lord is following the laws of the following the commandments. And the Lord says, here is our love made perfect through us following the commandments, because He, you know. Uh, uh, he did it, so we got to follow the same path. Is that um, 
Uh, it says, because we have boldness in the time of judgment, you know, and that boldness is going out doing doing the work, going out there in the highways and byways, doing videos, all right, fasting and praying, but really doing videos and going to highways and byways, that's bold, you know, going against a world that's totally against the Lord. And even, you know, you could be killed, you could be jailed and whatever have you, you know. So that's boldness to go against what this world believes is truth. You know, we're telling you that everything you see is a lie. You got to be bold to do the work of the Lord. Right. But it says, uh, but that with all, but it says, Salak, but, but that with all boldness and as always, so now also Hamashiach shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. And you see, so while we're doing this work, you're not ashamed of the Lord because you're going out there, you're not ashamed. And going out there is being bold and not showing you love the Lord and have faith and fear the Lord to go out there and do its work, right? But overall, it said that I shall be magnified through the spirit of our Lord, right? In my body, whether it be life or death. So we're going to be magnified. Magnified means something that's magnificent, you know? So we're doing things that are magnificent in the spirit, of the Lord, whether we be in a body or not, meaning that if we're not in a body, let's say if you pass on, like the, the beloved brother Ra'am, 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 Salakia, uh, 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 he's magnified, you know, he's magnified. Magnified is basically an upgrade. He's magnificent. He's in a magnificent state with Yahweh Shemashar. You know what I mean? So the flesh is the flesh is weak, but the spirit is always willing. So we know the beauty and the the great magnificence that he 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 is before Yahweh Shemashai in, in the spiritual realm. Paul said he could even utter the words what he saw in the spiritual realm was so beautiful. But that's where he is. So we're happy we're of course we feel you know elated and 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 happy for the for the for the for that ark, the soldier, but of course we're in the flesh so you know you're still gonna go missing the brother and and and, and feel certain ways a little sorrow because we're in the flesh and it's love. You know you, you miss him you know what I mean? And um, so again, you know, I, you know, as, as the, the Boston, Boston brothers know, you know, that we know death and that's our advantage in the spirit of the Lord. We know the procedures of death. You know, we know that the pop, you know, the, the process, man. And, and that's what, that's what comfort, the, you know, that's what, that's what, that's what comfort is. The knowledge of the Lord comforts us to know that he's okay. And any brother who dies in the spirit of the Lord, that they're okay. And we're just sleeping. You know, we're going to rise first. Like we all know, like the Pascal Bar did in the show, and like we all we all prophesy, we 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 speak, we we teach this. But the the beautiful thing about it, he's magnified. So, like with all due respect, I will say it's like congratulations to that brother. You know, congratulations. He's 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 in, he's in a magnificent state. He's he's got an upgrade. You know, because he did the work, and and that's and and then now we know he's an elect. You know, he's definitely going to rise back. He, that means he's an elect. Okay, so it says, but it says by life or by death, but it says for to me to live is Yahweh Shai and to die is gain, right? So the point, this is what I want to go into is saying for me to live is Yahweh Shai and to die is gain, meaning for me to live is Yahweh Shai, meaning that the whole point as far as living as prophets, right? Corinthians 4, uh, 14 and 34, 32 or something like that. The prophets are subject to the prophets. We are sent here. We are sent down here for only one reason, which is to preach the word to the people of, of, of the Lord, the nation of Israel. Okay. Preach the word of the Lord to the nation of Israel and wake them back up, you know, to the spirit of our Lord and, and, and the son. Okay. Ezekiel 37th chapter. But it says, uh, for to me to live is Yahweh Shai. Right, meaning we're, we're we're sent here to do His work, uh, uh, in, in His Spirit, and it says, and to die is gain. But really, literally, to die is gain. Like you, you gain an advantage. It's actually better to leave this world and die because we're in hell and to be with the Lord. You know, everything. The, 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 you know, that's paradise up there, man. Everything's in order. Yahabash and Ashai. That's then none can, can get better than that, man. But guess what? Earth is going to be like the heavens too. That's why I said, let your will, the the prayer. Let your will be in heaven like it is on earth, you know. And so so it says, but the die is gain. It's, a, it's actually an advantage for you to be with the Lord in the spiritual realm. But it says, but if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor. Meaning, see, 
but I have, but I, I have to live in the flesh, Paul said, because this is, the, this is the fruit of my labor. This is what I was here to do, to wake up the elect and to plant the seeds of righteousness, starting with the name of the Lord, to the ones that believe, you know? And the same thing we're doing now in these days, you know? This is the fruit of our labor to be on earth and preach the word of the Lord. But it says, yet what I shall choose, I want not. You know, meaning taking himself out, committing suicide. You know, Paul, Paul, you know, uh, had thoughts of su suicidal thoughts, so to speak, right? Because he wanted, he said, if what I want to choose, but I want not. I can choose to be with the Lord by just taking myself out, but I'm not going to do that because I know the fruit of my labor. And of course, we have these thoughts too. It's so easy just to take yourself out, but you'll be going, you'll be going against the order of Yahweh Shemayashah because why? The Lord didn't tell you to come back up. He's the one. He give, he 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 he, he killeth and maketh alive, all right. And he um, he gives out the issues of death, meaning, meaning he gives out the orders of when somebody lives or dies. It's not up to you. We're down here to do a job. It's like you going out to work. You get out at three o'clock and all of a sudden you leave at twelve. Well, I just want to leave. But no, you still got work to do. You know. So that's what that means. So it says. For it says, Salak. But if I live in the flesh, excuse Salak. Yeah, for, for I live in the flesh, it's the fruit of my labor. Yet what I choose, I want not. For I, for I am in the straight between two, having desire to depart and to be with Yahweh Shai, which is far better. So it says, I am, I am in straight between two. So I mean, he's he's in a, 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 a dilemma, you know, right? But it says, having desire to depart, meaning to be with the Lord, right? Take himself out. Or it says, and to be with the anointed, the Lord, which is far better. Right. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. But but nevertheless, no matter how good it is with the Lord, we have a job to do down here. Um, and, and you know, I was joking around, I was joking around with the brother Amal Gabar, you know, talking about how we even well, was is a car too, is a car, a priest of car of how, you know, how we came down here, uh, you know, from the spiritual realm. And basically, you know, uh, you know, I joke around with him to say, you know, while we were arguing, who's going to jump down first? Because spirits don't want to come down here in this realm. You know, the spirits of the Lord. While we're arguing to see who's going to jump down first to, to go, come down his realm, I was joking around to say, Yahweh Shai was saying, push this down, you know? He said, hey, look, look over there. And we said, what? And it, boom, we just push this down, you know? <laughs> like a free fall into the world. Not saying it happens that way, but, you know, just, 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 um, just, just making a point to say, you know, that that uh, no spirit wants to be on here. We're here to do the work. And uh, the, br the brothers in and in 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 obviously in a, in, a, in a magnified state right now. And if you look at Corinthians, I wasn't going to go that, but, you know, made my point, Lord willing. If you go to Corinthians, the fifth chapter, second Corinthians, the fifth chapter, uh, it tells you that we have an earthly tabernacle. We have a, um, a heavenly tabernacle not built with hands, you know, and our earthly, ta our earthly tab tabernacle dissolves, which is the body. We have a, a heavenly tabernacle. We have a heavenly body waiting for us, you know. So, um, so um, you know, a little longer than I wanted to. But again, you know, shalom to the Boston brothers. And, um, you know, just wanted to share that through spirit and then put that out there, you know. Now, to move on with the show, Salak, um, uh, to move on with the show, uh, what does a robot, what is the one thing a robot needs? What, what does, what does, what is the one thing? A robot needs to function, okay, uh, and basically that's a chip, okay, and, and hence transhumanism, okay. So I actually had another show in, in, in mind, but uh, this uh, I thought came in my head this morning as soon as I woke up. All right, um, um, uh, Lord willing to the Spirit of the Lord gave me that, you know, put that in my mind to do a show on, you know. So again, what is the key thing? A robot needs to function is a chip. So what am I talking about? That basically that old, you know, I got two scriptures I want to share, but all, my point is that that basically that it's 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 the cat's out the bag, man. That the the RFID chip, the radio frequency identification chip, the MOTB is the mark of the beast. Like we always been saying here at GMS, starting with the positive GMS. The news is getting now. You had a pastor and Ram Lob just did a show uh, yesterday going and going and I do Star. Star, he has his own little whatever. He, he's a he's a you know clown, but 
he believes the Bible is a fairy tale, but someone called in the show and talked about the chip. And a lot of people are waking up to that fact and know about it, you know? So it's it's not like hidden. It's mainstream now and the media is talking about it, right? So the thing is, if if we're, obviously this chip is going to be put in the people. So that's why, so, so what does that make you people? A bunch of robots. That's my point. All right. Uh, which, um, a bunch of robots. And that's why one of your nicknames, um, we call people or, or, or the sheeple are copper tops. A copper top is something that's metallic or metal. And, and it's, 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 it's a, something derogatory, a proverb or like a slang, uh, or insult to see how we call, how we call the sheeple, you know, the, uh, the people of, the, of America, which are your copper tops, your bunch of robots, you know, which a robot is a slave and they're controlled, you know, and again, what does a robot need to function is a chip. So the point is that you're a bunch of robots out there, man, you know, and, it, and a robot has a master. OK, and um, now we're robots, too, you know, but we're or organic robots of Yahweh Shema and Shai. We're created, you know, but um, you rather be a robot for the Lord, Yahweh Shema and Shai, than be a robot uh, for the devil. You know, and be and, and his his robotic is transhuman transhumanism. You know, from machine to man, while the Moses uh, 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 translation or tra translation is from the flesh to the spirit. <laughs> you see that Esau's uh, it, 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 it is the body to the machine, while our is the body to the uh, to a heavenly spiritual body. So we're making a transition too, but a spiritual tra transition. Now, first, I want to get a definition of robot. And it means, it means um, robot, a uh, math facts lock. Let's get this quick first. I typed all robots need a chip to operate. And this is what came up, right? It said, people, people also ask, do robots have chips, right? And this is what it says. It says, uh, highly customized chips designed for a specific piece of hardware are not a new idea. Phones currently use them. But modern robots currently rely, modern robots, right, current day, currently rely on standard chips running software in order to function. Okay, set it right there. So, all right, so, um, see, it sees this here. It also says what chip is used, what chip is used in robots? Microcontrollers are the core of many robots. They have considerable processing power packed on that one chip, allowing lots of freedom for programmers. Microcontrollers, you know, hence nanotechnology, you know, and that's reality. And nanotechnology is basically something that goes in your system. I'm not going to elaborate too much. It's really hacking your brain, you know, to, 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 to transform into a robot. Okay, um, so just wanted to get out real quick again, but modern robots currently rely on standard chips running on software to function. So you need a robot needs a chip to function, right? And proof that you people out there, they're turning you into machines and conditioning you. They want to put a chip on you, man, right? Working off your BTU energy like a robot. Robot etymology says robot mechanical person. Uh, whose work or activities are entirely mechanical, right? And it says, uh, robotic force, forced worker, you know, and that's what you are. You people are forced workers. You're overall, you're just being put into to the, the, the term is called the Internet of Things, the system of America, the beast, all right? And, and what and then what that chip is re represents the mark of the beast. All right, that's the mark or the representation of the system. All right, which is for you to be a slave and to serve Esau as your master instead of the Lord as your master. Okay, uh, it says to work, forced labor, compulsory service, drudgery. Uh, 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 I think that word means something too. Let me look that up real quick. Drudgery. I think that word means something. Oh, yeah, the labor of drudge, ignoble, spiritless toil. All right, spiritless. See, I didn't even know that. So drudgery means spiritless. Look at that. Slavery. Okay, servitude. I got a scripture on servitude. Okay. 
but spiritless. And, and we know what does that PCR test do or these Beetlejuice? It takes it, it, it messes with your, with your, with your, with your, with your penal gland, which is, um, which is said to, uh, uh, um, 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 you know, ha which is said to have your, have your mind, uh, tap into your third eye or spirituality, you know? So th this, this, this Beetlejuice or the, the, this PSR test, you know, they take away your spirit. They take away your spirituality, you know, they take away that third eye. So you become spiritless and slowly, gradually, if you survive, you become a robot because that's exactly what these things are doing. They're hacking your brain. Okay. So that was it there. So let me get these scriptures. Okay. Just wanted to show that real quick. Just to want to make that point. I used to put, you know, put it in the background. Wanted to make that point again that what do all robots need? A chip. And that's basically what you people are. You're not but robots. Uh, you took stuff to take away your soul from you. You're spiritless. You're, you're drudgery, right, was the word. Okay. So I got one right here. Matter of fact, let me get a... Okay, let me get a Exodus real quick. Because this would have boiled down to, you know, the, 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 final, the final judgment. Because, again, when you take that, when you take that, you're denying the Lord. You're saying, okay, he, Esau's my master. Here's the proof. And it's actually in the law. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is Exodus chapter 21. Uh, 21 verse uh, 5. Actually, two years. Excuse me. Uh, Revelation, Exodus 21 verse 2. It reads, if thou, if thou by an Hebrew servant, six years he shall serve. And in the seventh, he shall go out free for nothing. Okay, and that's part of our customs, to work and to be free, just like our forefather, Jacob. He worked for uh, Leah. Then he had to work another seven years for Rachel. <clears throat> Salak. If he came in by himself, he should go out by himself. If he were married, then his wife should go out with him. If his master give him, given him a wife, and she had borne him sons or daughters, the wife and her and her children and her children shall be her masters, and and he shall go out by himself. And if the servant shall plainly say, "I love my master, my wife, and my children, I will not go out free," then his master shall bring him to the unto the judges. He he shall also bring him to the door. And while I'm reading this, you got to think about, you got to correlate this in these times. This was done in, in spirit, you know, back in, in back in you know, in ancient times in our laws, but also it carries on to today because it, that MOTB. This is the es essence. This scripture is the essence of what they're doing. And you people have wives and kids out there, and technically, uh, uh, um, they're not yours because Esau. Ha you know, Esau, that's not your wife, you know, spiritually, because she's been with another man. If she hasn't, then overall, you know, what? Esau controls her, social security number and all that kind of stuff, you know? Your kids, the state owns them, right? It says, then his master shall bring him to the, to, unto the judges. He shall also bring him to the door. And aren't you going to go before the judges to get your chip? It says, or onto the door post. And his master should bore his ear through it with an awl, a bore, like, yeah, boar said that, that deli meat, and it has like a pig in it with a hole in his ear. A bore means a hole, you know, a bore is a hole, right? So it says, uh, it says, he should bring to the door or on to the door post, and his master should bore his ear through it with an awl. An awl is a sharp pricking tool, you know, just like. Uh, you know, like it says, it says a revelation of karagma or, or, a, or a, was it a, um, a, a pale, a pale steak. I'm not saying it right, man. Um, begins with a P. I'm, I'm lost in words. Pale, a steak uh, to pierce. I'm too, too late to look it up. But all is basically a, a piercing instrument, you know. 
and it says, um, and he shall serve or to impale. Okay. Uh, he, and he shall serve him forever. So that's ultimately what this is. You know, if you take that MOTB, you know, the CHIP, you're telling Esau, the devil, that I'm yours, you're my master, for me to keep my wife and my kids that you own, okay? I want to I wanna continue to serve you. And you're saying the hell with the most high in the Bible and the prophecies and, and, and who I am, I'm going to serve the white man, the devil, instead of my power, the Lord. And that's overly what it is, you know? That's what this MOT, MOTB is about. And if anybody teaching otherwise, they completely don't have this reward of the spirit, the sellouts, and overly, this is the main point of, of the Lord's comeback because this is the essence of the salvation. You know, you can do the work for years, 20, 30 years, but if you take that chip, you're done. Because saying no to the chip is proof that you want the Lord as your savior. And we're about to be tested to see if that's going to happen. This is what, this is what we, we built. This is what the Lord built our faith for to, 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 to reject the hour of temptation. You know, and we're all going to face, have our darkest hour, like the apostles always talk about, and just like our Lord, you know. The whole world would be tried to be forced to take this trip, you know. Uh, no one should buy or sell, rich and poor, okay, unless you have that chip in your, in your, in your body, man. Why? Because you're a robot, but you want to be a robot for the Lord, okay. Um, what do I want to get? That was, oh, let me get another one. Uh, servitude, this is Lamentations 1 and 3. One was done. I'm not going to. Two more scriptures, Lamentations 1 and 3. It reads, I'll start from 1. It says, How doth the city of how doth the city sit solitary that was full of people? How is she become as a widow? She that was great among the nations and princes among the provinces, how is she become a tributary, the nation of Israel? How would he fall from grace and become the leaders of the world? With, by way of King Solomon and King David and our kingdom to being uh, slaves and proverbs and, and the tributaries and a joke. It says, she weepeth sore in the night and her tears are on her, on her cheeks. Among all her lovers, she hath done, hath had none to comfort her. Yeah, because we're the ones mourning. That's what the scripture says, Jeremiah 5, 15, or 15 and 5. Who shall go bemoan thee? Who shall go aside and axe out I doest? Nobody's going to help the nation of Israel. Nobody's looking out for us as you can see around the world. Right, and nobody's trying to make us better. It, it, it's constant beating us down. We're the problem of the world, right? Um, it says, right, and nobody's comforted. It says all her friends have dealt treacherously with her, and they have become her enemies. And no nation has dealt right with us. Period. Period. And Judah is gone into captivity because of, of affliction and because of great servitude. Right, she dwelleth among the heathen, she findeth no rest. All her, her persecutors overtook her between the straits, and that's what it is boil, boiling down to. Because here it is this is about serving that word, servant is a powerful word. The actual word worship, I was go, go into in, in the Old Testament, goes back to the Hebrew word abad, which means to serve. We are to serve the Lord, you know, it's, it's all about serving and slavery, but you'd rather be a slavery and a servant and a robot and all those. Analogies for, for Yahweh Shemesh You know, brainwashed, all these things we use, but all these things, you want to be brainwashed for the Lord, from Him. You want to be, not from Him, you want to be brainwashed of the Spirit of the Lord. You want to be a slave for the Lord, which is His servant. You want to be a robot for the Lord. These are all good things for the Lord, but not for the devil. Okay, not for the so called white man. So that's what you do when you get that chip. You're saying, I'm your servant, not the Lord's. Okay, so that was that one. Let me get another another one. This is Habakkuk 2 and 5. Just a quick point. Last scripture, Habakkuk 2 and 5. It reads, uh, Yea, also because he transgressed by wine, and you got Elon Musk and all these uh, billionaires who don't give a damn about poor people. The rich said the rich hated the poor. That is, he's the one has nanotechnology trying to uh, um, uh, turn, you know, turn man into machine and, uh, you know, by Neuralink, his company and, and, and all these things. He's always talking about putting chip in people and, and prosthetic legs, whatever have you, you know, converting a man into a machine, you know. Um, 
It says, yea, and that's part of his wine, which is off. Yea, also because he transgresses by wine. He, he, is, he is a proud man, right? Pride is being of sin, meaning he dare the man of dare the men of sin. Neither keep it at home. Yeah, this, this devil don't keep at home. He's all around the world, right? But the military bases in our land stole our identity. It says, who is larger his desire as hell. And what is, it, what is his desire? His desire is this uh, is false philosophy of freedom, which is that wine of fornication. And it says, his desire is what? And his end is as death and cannot be satisfied, right? And, but gathereth, gathereth unto him all nations and peepeth unto him all people. So how does he, this so-called white man, try to gather up all the nations and he puts them to all people? Well, he has it already, according to Job 9 and 24, but the cherry on the top and how he's going to heap and take control of the people of the world is that by that ship, because that ship represents he's the master, you're the slave, okay? And if you take it, you're saying that Esau is your master, the Most High is not my master, the God of the Bible, the God of the nation of Israel, and I accept the devil as my master. And, that, and that's, that's, what it, that's what it boils down to, man. And, 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 and overall, overall, that's death. Because if you do that, you're going to be put to death by the Spirit of the Lord, by the Holy Chariots, and by Him, Him Himself, and the Lord when He comes back. You're going to be put to death, period, man. You're going to burn in the lake of fire, period. Okay? So I, that's the point I wanted to get out. Again, that to say that uh, what's, what's the key thing a robot needs is a chip to function and proves that all you robots, you copper tops, you slave. You know, that's what you are. You're a bunch of robots. And that final piece is a chip that this devil wants to put in you to be your master. All right. But the men of the Lord, the remnant, the, whole, the elect, you know, they're not, it's prophesied. They're not going to take the chip. That's why when you go to Revelation 20, it says the ones that were beheaded for the name, for the testimony and, and being a witness in the name of Yahweh Shai. All right. So anyway, uh, the ones who don't accept will be saved, man, and be magnified uh, just like our brother, uh, Roa Am, and he's going to come back and fight with us through the Spirit of the Lord. Uh, 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 for, uh, Second Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, the dead shall rise first. He's going to be back. He's a king. He's an elect. And he's begging the Lord, Yahweh Shai, to come back and save us, man. You know what I mean? So, you know, with that, um, and time has speed up for him as well. You know, he could already be back fighting already because his, his time speeds up, you know. Um, but, you know, that's another subject. But um, but uh, he's all right, man, and he's crying for us, oh y'all, you know. So um, congratulations to that brother in the spirit. We we'll all do respect, right? And we're gonna see him soon, Lord willing. Uh, we be the elect, or I'm, oh Lord, willing, I'm, I pray I'm the hopeful elect, you know. And um, so that's about it, you know. So Lord willing, see you in the next show. Kal halal, Yahweh b'ashim yashai, b'ashim kukadash, the water Yahweh b'ashim yashai, the belongs to the apostle GMS. Uh, double honest to the Connecticut elders and shalom to the Boston brothers, man. All right. Um, Kazakim to the spirit of Yahweh Shemeshai and all the brothers, uh, prophesying the word of Yahweh Shemeshai. Shalom.